Discovering the extraordinary and the ordinary. It's for life. Mugulu gulu gabule la sugulu gulu are lego gai wela maupe. Magoku bu awana. Musho wa kate lo wile wa ya mule timu thaila tupaka 1994. Sisi bula lagoro musho umosa. Ota swana kyo kutoa la sisho shela sa musho la wa kale. Biale. Kuru oti nyaki oti nyaki shish. Kintu evuz. Lua la kuagai. Tinha que o tinha que chegar. Minha lá com muito arena. Arre levar logo o bate a Carlos Varena. Bata com a gota tinha que. Bate tinha que chegar. The swimming pool. Yeah. What about nice? My swimming. Yeah, then you can see me flex. You know. Hello, ma. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Ah, you wanna read it? Okay, it says, today you will meet with well-known poet, presenter, and producer, Lebu Mashile. Lebu, Lebu, Lights in Lebu. Okay. She'll be taking you through a creative process of introspection. Remember to open up. Only then will you be able to change yourself and in this, in the process, contribute to a democratic South Africa. Regards. Lebu Mashile, kiyo mungwa di poeti chako tu mamomu zanyezi. Uchie mekwa ya wotalo saka poeti. Ile eme kaune. Nukona, usuma kudu, mwotli shendi petogo di chikita nuncha petogo Afrika buhura. Nukona, pama tlato kutwale ya nale chachika muhuka. Omana Lebu, for the first time in Adwa, Mnyako, it was like, it was like I'm, I still feel like I'm dreaming, cause um, Lewis has been my inspiration since I was like six. You know, uh, she's the whole reason I started writing. She's the whole reason I started falling in love with poetry. The maid was like, "Really? Wake up! I'm high here. It was, it was, it was nice. Um, I got her done. Say, was she in the nearest type of men? So what? Men so like it. Allah here net for me. Say us ne." I've been asked to facilitate a poetry workshop with you guys for the entire day. I just want to say from the outset, ne? I'm not going to push you further than you want to go. Okay. The intention is to is to is for you to be able to take an honest look at yourself yeah. so that you can also take an honest look at our country yeah. so that you can claim the space that you need to claim as young people as young leaders in this country. So we're going to be doing a lot of a lot of writing but we're also going to be doing a lot of physical exercises especially in the first part of the day. Okay. Yeah? Um, and and just to kind of wake up some of what is already going on inside of you. Um, we're going to also talk about leadership and power and what these mean, you know. What does it mean for you as young people to have power and control and agency over your lives? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fabulous. Are you ready? I'm so ready. ready. <laughs> Butro kwa ba di general, kio hufa si piri lugo mwala maikuto, ata wea kwa ti. These are for you, we'll start working in them today, but you know, if you want to carry on writing, I would love that beyond today. Okay. That's, that's, that's for you, it's your space. I'll never look into them, I don't need to see them. What you say in there, it's, that's a free space. Okay. Kala, can we start doing the first thing? Kala, 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 kala. Let's go. Okay. Fabulous. This is someone who actually understands this country. This is someone who writes a lot of poems about, you know, struggles against South Africa and the democracy and racism and things like that. This is someone who really understands the transition between pre-1994 to to I don't know the the world we'll be living in. This is someone who truly understands what it means to be an inspired young person and someone who truly understands what it means to be someone who doesn't really know where they're going. We'll do an exercise and then we'll talk about the exercise. And then you guys will write okay. for a short period of time. Right. First one is very simple. Um, we're going to talk about our likes, dislikes, and fears with each other. So it's 
it's to get us to practice opening up to other people, um, but also to get us to practice listening mm. to the next person. Okay. So I'd like you. I'm gonna participate because we're, yeah. we're so that the numbers will be even, so everybody has a partner. Yeah. Um, pair up with someone, anyone. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Everybody's good. I'm always with him. Okay, I'm now. Okay. No, 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 we good, we good. First person, four things you like about yourself. Okay. Self is that um, I'm very open to you know, that person who wants to always engage with people and understand people. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, the thing I love about myself is that I like how I'm not easily intimidated by, you know, a lot of people. I love my height. You like looking up to people? I like looking up to people. Okay. Eh? Yeah. And, um,. The, the way I approach people yeah. I have and something that I actually like about me because mm. I learn a lot from listening. And the fourth thing that I like about myself is that I am not stereotyped and saying that this is what's going on, this is where I have to go. I, you know, I keep my options open. Finished! Yeah, we're done. Fantastic! What was it like sharing things that you like about yourself with another person? It makes you feel good. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's swap yeah. somebody that you didn't work with. Okay. Four things that you don't like about yourself. Okay. I'm impatient. I'm very hard on myself. I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm a free spirit, but inside it's like I am really a perfectionist. The thing about it, I don't know where I get it. I'm soft or yeah. gay. But I'm just, I feel sometimes I'm just too friendly. Yeah. I let my fears get to me. Hmm. Nah, a lot. I can I let my fears get to me. That's another thing I don't like about myself. Mm. I'm very impatient as well. Yeah. Um, I don't like my legs. Why? Okay, let me not judge you. Say. <laughs> I can't, I can't wear a boot. I never had exactly. worn a big boot that comes, you know, I know get exactly. skinny girls that is wearing boots and you're like, Dang. Yeah, I, I, the I, know I know exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't like how I suppress myself so to accommodate what yeah, I want to do. So then I'm not being myself. I want to do. Finishing up? Are we finished? Okay, you're done. What was it like listening to the other person share? You actually learn about the person, like the inside of a person, yeah. you know. And then Ranchi. And then as you're talking, I'm like, yo, I go through the same thing as yes. well. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, and you feel, well, I'm yes. not weird. I'm, it's, it's just normal yeah, it's, for yes. someone to be like that. That's why the judging is going to start to stop by us listening mm. to each other and stop judging one another. I saw so much of myself in you and so much of myself. Everything that you said was, was something you didn't like about yourself. It's something that I can see in myself. But the funny thing is, looking at it in another person, I can see how it's also a strength. Yeah. I see it, I can see it as a positive positive thing and yeah. not as not as a negative so it's a lesson in compassion as yeah. well yeah, yeah? Okay, now ladies and gents, Four things so ditabang. It can be about yourself or about the world or about your future. Anything. Four fears. There's just the sense of I gotta make it. You know, so the sense of what if it doesn't happen happen someday. So I fear that a, a, a lot. Like I fear the uncertainty of, I fear not standing out. That's another thing. I fear not standing out because uh, no one no one deserves to feel like they're not important. No one deserves to feel like they're not a part of the world. Um, my fear is really I'm um, getting my heart broken by some other auntie's child getting into my life and breaks my heart. I fear. To say something, I feel hurting other people's feelings, even though what I'm saying is the truth about them. I just fear that the way I would say, the way I would express myself, God, I would hurt the next person. I've never been that person, uh, especially when it comes to my fears, because I always felt what if I would tell someone to hear stuck, they would actually use it against me to hurt me or, or, or to do something, you know. And also the fact that I had to tell my fears to people, ooh, ooh I felt like they're going to judge me, they're going to use it against me. Therefore, I never open really up to people and tell them what I'm really scared of. But I can tell you any day what I like about myself, I can bubble that all time, all night. But if you tell me about your fears, I'm like, I know I got time for it. You know what I mean? It's fine. Do you? I'll do me. Life goes on. 
but I've learned that you need to listen to people and now that I know this same person is sharing a fear with me, I will understand the person as well. Um, the exercise that I'm talking about is very good. Didn't really realize our lot, man. Um, we we all usually have the experience just so I know already feel that. And already feel that our chavar mutomung aska di born and then adi adi use against the rain. It's like you saying you give someone phone yaga and it's like look, don't look at my pictures or don't scroll to the right or something. That's exactly what they will do. So it made me realize what I'm talking Sometimes you really just need to trust in the next person, believing or they'll lead you in the right direction. What we're doing for this part of the day yeah. is building up like raw materials mm -hmm. that we're going to use later on to be able to create something, you know? Okay. So this is just kind of tapping in to ourselves. It's like, a, it's like checking in okay. with who we are, yeah. where we're at, you know? Um, what I'd like you to do now is to go off and write. Okay. Short period of time, just 10 minutes. It's going to be challenging though because I don't want you to stop. Yeah. Don't worry too much about what. Yeah. Just, okay. do. Just, Just do it. it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. I think how can I They are all very artistic. They are all very expressive. They are all very creative. Miawe mametsi. You can see there's a lot going on kamahayena. You can see Hore where she comes from. She's been through a lot as a person. You know hotwa khale hotwa bucheng ba hai na kwalo munyanyani. And I think that's the thing that helped her to discover her voice, to discover this hitya haya ngwala. And ubone for the first time. I think Hore it's an asset, not just for her, but it's an asset for the group and it's also an asset for society as a whole. Melanie, very interesting. Melanie, her personality, she's like, she's explosive. Um, and hey man, in a wonderful way. I think these issues that she's dealing with, now, today, she found a place to be able to really, really process what is going on inside of her. I think writing for her is going to be a wonderful platform for her to begin to deal with these issues. Also, most of us in this country are dealing with the issues. Most of us are trying to figure out where do we fit in. Those are the very same questions that, that people all over this country are asking themselves. Be conscious of the thought that you are thinking. If there comes a point where you want to stop, because usually it's something that you are too scared to say, something that is 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 burning, but that is that you are afraid to let come out. How hello, Another very open personality, you know, um, very very encouraging. Oh oh oh, exuberant. You just you know something 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 opens up um, when when he's in the space. I love it, your expressions change when you come back from writing. They come back like... <laughs> it's good. You have written uninterrupted you. Nah, it's something surprising, man. You're, it's like when you do something, you... It's like all the time doing whatever. Unala something in order to make good work. You don't care about time. It's not. Another thing is, I've realized is that each and every one of us brought to our own. I've realized this race issue and also within ourselves and our community, we judge each other so much mm. because I've got a different type of texture. Bear in mind, I'm not even colored, but people have this um, problem with me speaking Afrikaans. I'm not colored. My mom is colored. Mm. I am South African. Mm. That's it. I'm an African woman. You guys have been saying such deep things about about identity, mm. about what it means to be human, about what it means to be South African. All of this is coming from you. Mm. You already, you walked into the room with these things burning inside of you, whether you knew it or not. Mine has just been to help them come out a bit. Yeah. This exercise, it's called magic mirrors. The way that this exercise works is, you have to look the person that you're partnered with in the eye. Uh, when I was 
follow, like as you said, being a mirror and Jay, you know, that, that makes sense itself, you know, seeing myself in, in her eyes. And, and it, it goes back to the thing, yeah, trust as yeah. well, you know. But now it's different with following the hand, you trust in her leading you. Mm. But also in following her through looking each other's eyes, there's also the trust within you that you trust yeah. yourself enough, you know, yeah. to also do the things that she's doing. I got a spiritual connection as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's stretched more than that because you like a picture it tells a lot of stories you know and I was just like okay this is what's going through this person's mind at the moment I've, I've established a connection and if I can focus on this I can mirror out anything else that you do everything because everything else you can see yeah everything. can focus on on this thing everything that this person does I can sort of connect Leon somehow by some natural whatever yeah. but some way because of this connection because of this defined vision everything around me yeah. can you know can just follow i'd like you to think about a letter a letter that you would write to south africa okay south africa is coming of age you are young adults who have come of age so i want you to write a letter to yourself and to South Africa. You are South Africa. Okay. Ne? Yeah. What have the last 20 years been like? The last 21 years been like? And what are the next 21 years going to be like? You are South Africa. You are South Africa. And reflect on 21 years of democracy. Find a place where you are comfortable, where I'm you're going to be good, alone. Yeah. You're going to stay here. Okay. There's another table that side. There's another table this side. Wow. Mama Tatsaka Lanka. Me ya Melanie le Khorel. Ho tlhale mo poet wa Makajao. Mongwadi le life coach. Le bo machine. Brand life coach ya le bo machine. E thosha batho go tinyaka le go tinyakishisha. Le go tikhwetsa. Le go ntsha se se ba tshwenya mo pepenene. Ka tsela yo go bona le go meka meka na le mathata ga. Ke tloga ke ne go bona gore go tla diragala e. Who's going to go first? Le ba ka kholola ngwa la prem. Ke go ntsha my good love. Okay. 21 years of democracy in South Africa. Do we really understand 21 years of democracy in South Africa? So, it was stand at me. Means a judgment of stewards. Yes, you, you with the hurt and pain in your heart, with eyes full of tears from this disastrous experience and struggle. You with stink and lie and scars from betrayal from your own government, who you gave your trust. There's levels to this democracy. Levels created by color, age, race, and one's financial status. More money equals more interaction with different races. It's like one's color disappears for we speak the same language of money. It wasn't the first time I a poem. It wasn't the first time I a any piece. I've been writing things, but I've let, I've let, I've let that, that part of me, of it, I've left it dormant for quite some time. And f for not today to tap to be able to tap into that again and be like, oh, actually, I can still write, but now I'm a bit more, I'm, I'm wiser than and now I'm say about working all of this. Now I'm writing because kitty feeling jaga jaga di kwa. So it was stand at me. Mensa judge me dog stiots. Fan die clear van my lachaam. Omdat ek a swart man se kind is, en my ma is a brain vrou. Judge hulle my nog stiots. I've learned today that it poetry can be anything. Poetry can be within yourself and you don't know that you are a poet you can speak about so many things you who fear your thoughts and jail yourself because you're not wanting to be judged you who feel less of the human you are because you worried of the color of your skin and the reflection of yourself in a mirror brings nothing but hate and anger to you the exercises made actually think out of the box of my surroundings or wherever I am or my own pain or my own life as na mia alone it, it made me think outside and i started realizing all these other things and got more understanding about them i felt to write down these things is very important because then i can learn further and also leave it for another person to learn from them Van zuid Afrikaners, ons judge mekaar nog steeds so baie, met clear, met wat jy het, met wat jy nie het nie. Racism stretches way beyond what I look like. There's levels to this freedom. 
Those with money are more free to live out their dreams without the daunting reality of an empty food table and the like of bursary schemes. Looking at Poemia, Poemia Maya, Poemia Melanie, we had a lot in common. Um, we were both questioning identity arena. We were questioning the state of our country. We were questioning financial status such today. We were questioning a lot of issues just with different styles and with different tones. I relate. I see myself in you. I feel your pain. I know your struggle. I am you and you i am in you and you in me so let's move forth and fulfill our dreams because what breaks us makes us stronger and for that we are strong and can make it together south africa unite i relate <laughs> i should have gone first <laughs> i felt worried this is a, a, a platform for me to actually get uh, my participants to understand me more and and learn more about me because they always complain about me being quiet and blah 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 and, and this is the only place because I've grown that way I've from a young age till now I grew that way that paper my pen and my paper is it's more where I can express myself than just talking South Africa my South Africa South Africa my South Africa Dat voel nie of ek 21 jaar voor en toe gaan nie, want jylle trek my so achter as a community. Met 21 voet stappen gaan ek nog steeds achter toe. Dat voel nie of ek 21 steps voor en toe gaan nie. Suid-Afrika, my Suid-Afrika, are we really moving forward? If you afford to go to, to expensive schools, you afford interaction with different races. You get to have similar, similarities, you get to relate. You get to be a part of a rainbow nation that Dada Madiba dreamed of without any fear. When you're from the herd, all you see is the next black person whose hunger and poverty um, you relate to. You guys talk the same, dull, like the rich. Except in this case, the only rainbow nation we have is the rainbow nation of poverty. But then again, I do not blame you, black men, for wanting to race up to your suburbs. If I, as a black man, see another black man succeeding. I get jealous. I want to steal your money and I want to steal everything that you have and kill you. Should I not then fear for my safety? Through your success, I see my failure. So, A, either you stay and get killed or you move to your safer places where money is the only thing you have in common with your white counterparts. And yes, we cannot relate because we're from different neighborhoods and we don't have anything much to talk about. But our kids can relate because their money is the same and my black kid is not as black anymore for money washed all the way up. One's financial state is today's new age apartheid. Except today it is a bit more acceptable. There's levels to this democracy. Thank you. For me, that's the most important thing that happened today is that banababa bone, bachababa bone, hore, di kelolotzabona, moya wabona. They have something to offer to this democracy. Their creativity is absolutely necessary for this democracy. They are a mirror of our democracy. Um, so I, I, today was much better than what I expected. I feel like I'm the person who got the gift. I feel like I'm the person who's been reborn. I'm very grateful. Mo Archbishop Desmond Emeritus Tutu Gabulela re kala rato holoka le botu re ka khona go fetola le fase le re phela mmo go lona ka nnete ga rena re khona go fetola go ra hore re ka khona go fetola le fase le re leng mmo go lona go fitlhela re kopana be ke tlang ke stogolo sa barolong ke na sputla se bodi kirete ei 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 SABC Education in association with MSC Business College is offering 150 bursaries in the field of IT, business admin and HR. This is your chance to study at one of South Africa's most established colleges, offering the latest technology with hands-on, friendly lectures giving you more personal attention. Visit study.msccollege.co.za to enter or visit your closest MSC Business College campus. Yeah.